there lovelies so your travel expert Jenny here and today's vlog is going to be just a little bit different rather than doing a day in the life vlog today is going to be an advice vlog so um, every week we'll focus on a different topic whether that's travel or business or whatever questions you all have today's topic is um, dedicated towards solo women so it's how to travel safe while traveling solo as a woman Basically, it's just some different things that I've learned as traveling solo. I've been to 15 countries in all, and I've lived in five different countries now, three of which I lived by myself. And most of those countries I did travel by myself, or I at least traveled to that country by myself and then met a friend there. And so I've met a lot of people along the way who've had literally no problems while traveling, like no safety issues at all. And I've also met girls who have had safety issues. You hear about it, you know, that they've, got, they've gotten robbed or um, worse. But I'm here to tell you that it is possible to travel by yourself and to do it safely. You just really, the number one rule is to trust your gut. So if walking down that dark alley by yourself at 2 a.m. seems like a bad idea, probably don't do it. <laughs> or if getting in the car with a strange guy who's offering to give you a ride simply because you don't want to walk that extra mile feels wrong, then don't do it. Use common sense. That's really the number one biggest thing you can do. And most of the girls that I've met that did have issues, they look back on it and they go, oh, you know, I probably shouldn't have done what I did to get there um, in that particular situation and they would have been able to avoid it. However, there are still some great things you can do personally um, while you travel to just help you in general. This is one thing that I've come across while traveling, especially as um, a business worker and traveling, is I use my MacBook. And MacBooks are highly targeted for theft, and if you have a MacBook, you yourself will be targeted simply because people think you have a lot of money. Whether or not that's true is irrelevant. It just seems like you would. So one of my biggest suggestions is to buy a cover that actually hides your logo ID or possibly you could get a um, cover like this that you can slip your MacBook in. That way when you're working in a coffee shop or somewhere, then you can have that hidden and it's not quite as obvious what you're working on. Um, and then with that, it's a really good idea to get a backpack that has a laptop sleeve so it's directly on your back. Not only does that help with the weight distribution and making your bag more comfortable to carry, but it makes it harder for people to actually try to steal your laptop because they're usually, it's usually pretty simple because it's like one of the first things you're putting in and pulling out all the time. Um, that same goes with your phone. If you have an expensive phone, buy a case that hides it. I know for some people that might be hard. Maybe you want to show off your brand but you know what it's better to be safe and sorry that being said if you don't need your laptop while you're traveling if you're going on a two-week vacation and all you're going to be doing is posting to Facebook don't take your laptop don't take things that are unnecessary don't take family heirlooms that could get lost anything like super expensive don't wear um, diamond jewelry anything like that that just makes you a target uh, a good rule of thumb is if you lost it and you couldn't live without it, don't take it on your trip. I don't care if you're gone six months, a year, if you could not live without it, figure out how to keep it safe so it's waiting for you when you go home. I have a variety of purses here. My general over-the-shoulder purse that I use when I need to carry a lot of things is still relatively small. I like it. Um, it just looks cool, but these are like not real zippers. So I guess if someone was trying to steal that, it wouldn't really work. But my biggest suggestion is to make sure that this pocket here does have a zipper. That way, not only is it zipped shut and snapped shut, and you're carrying it on the front of your body, you know, that's three ways that they have to actually open it, unzip it, get into it. And then there's even like a little hidden pocket here for like more... Um, more safety. So make sure that you do something like that. Don't have those open purses, those big shoulder bags that are easy to get your hands into. 
Um, a second thing is inside of this, you can actually carry a fake wallet. So this I picked up for like two or three dollars from Walmart and I've put in here um, some old credit cards that no longer work, that are expired and some of them are not even real. Like this is my, my pharmacy card. You know, it's not even a real card. Plus I put a little extra, a little money in here. Um, I've got like four dollars or something like that. But basically you want it to look like a real wallet. You don't want it to look like a fake wallet. That way, if for some reason somebody does say, hey, give me all your money, you can just pull this out and give this to them, and you're not really, you're not really losing anything. Um, a second way to just hide some extra cash, if in case of emergency, is this lovely um, bra attachment. So it's a little Velcro thing. And basically, you can wear this in several places on your bra, and it doesn't fit much more than um, a little bit of cash. It's not really a very big wallet. I don't, I don't think you could even fit an ID in here. But it's more for emergencies. If for some reason you were in some situation, you would then have cash. Um, so you would not be completely broke. But personally, whenever I go out, especially if it's uh, to go meet friends at night or if we're going to go dancing, I know a lot of people prefer like a fanny pack. That's actually um, pretty trendy over in Europe and they have some cool ones with like studs and stuff. But if you're like me and fanny packs just don't work around your middle, then you can go for something like this. So this has your little wristband here. So you put it on your wrist. That way your hand is free if you need it, if you needed both your hands. But generally I walk around with it in my hand here, strapped to my wrist as well, and then it's also latched. So in here I have some cash, my cards, and then of course my phone. Um, it's just a great way to keep track of everything while you're out having fun so you're not constantly, oh, where's my purse? Where is my coat? Where is this? It's just there. You don't have to think about it. Um, but remember, things like your fake wallet and your bra stash, they only work if you bring them, okay? They're not going to work if you left them in your hotel room. You have to take them with you and you have to do that consistently. Um, I did buy this on Amazon, so I will link that down below. And anything that I bought on Amazon off here or bought that I can find online, I will link below. So make sure you check that out. Another sort of like self-protection thing you can do is I got this trick from an old Navy buddy. And here's the thing. When you go to a foreign country, you don't know what sort of weapons and self-defense is allowed. You know, like in the states, in some in some states, you can carry mace. You can carry like one of those little battering ram things or a taser or whatever. But you're not going to be able to get away with any of that, especially like in Asia or um, different countries. But what you can have as self-defense is a sock, an old, long sock. I know this looks like nothing, but when you fill this up with something hard, like say your luggage uh, lock or even just some rocks or something like that, and you put this in the end, and you're walking around, you can wrap this around your hand like that, and you can actually use this to hit people. And my army buddy promised me, I've never have ever had to actually use this, but he promised me that if I was walking alone and somebody saw this while I was walking, they were likely to stay away because they don't actually know what is in here. For all they know, it could be glass. It could be something that will seriously harm them. And um, the bonus is by being able to wrap it around your hand like this, it's less likely to get stolen from you and less likely for that person to use it on you. So, like I said, I've never had to use it, but if I was ever forced to walk at night for some reason, if I had to catch a bus or something like that, I would definitely have that um, at the ready. Another thing that I also have at the ready for situations like this is a little personal alarm. So there is a pin right here that you just pull this pin and it makes an alarm sound. It's currently midnight here, so I'm not really sure if I should do the alarm sound because it's really loud. Um, just think of like a fire alarm sort of noise. And you can just attach this to um, your belt or your purse. And if somebody hears this, 
they're going to realize something's wrong. So, you know, you're going to have people coming to you. And the same point as this came as a kit is a little doorstop. So if you're staying in um, a hotel room that you think is not super safe, you can slip this underneath the door. And that way, when somebody tries to come in, it's going to push down and the same alarm is going to sound. Just be careful when you pack this that you have the on and off button switched, right? Because you actually have to like unscrew it to change the battery. So you can't take the batteries out, but you really don't want this going off in your luggage in the airport. So I suggest using this in your carry-on and not in a checked bag to avoid anything like that. Um, and then one more tip for traveling at night. And this I sort of stumbled by on accident. This is actually from an old Halloween costume when I was Kesha, but they're little finger lights. So I have a couple of these left over. And they're actually, they're pretty bright. And what's great is that you can just keep this on your finger like that. And if you're walking like say at a festival or um, at night on the beach, you can just shine this down on your feet and you see everywhere that you're walking without having to get out your phone and use the light like that. I got these, I think a pack of 10 was like $2. With it just being Halloween over, I don't know if you can find them, but maybe if you go to a party store, something like that, um, you should be able to get them relatively cheap. And this is over a year old and it's still working. So these are all the things that I use to stay safe. Um, there's some things I do online to also stay safe. I have traveler's insurance for one, which I've recently had to use for my wisdom teeth, so I'm very happy I have that. I have um, copies of my passport, my credit cards, front and back of my credit cards on my um, Google Drive, but you can never find it because I'm not telling you my password or my email. Um, <laughs> So if you don't feel safe keeping that on your Google Drive, then at least um, make copies of it and give it to somebody you trust. That way, if for some reason you were robbed, you did lose your credit cards, you have that information. It's super important to be able to cancel your cards. Um, and I have, like I said, I have not been in a situation like that. And I, I encourage any of you who are scared of traveling alone, who've never done it before, especially as a woman, um, to you could talk to me, ask me questions if you have them. The biggest thing you can do is research the country you're going to, and that's just going to make it so much easier for you. It's going to set your mind at ease. Um, like I said, number one, use common sense. Um, and number two, if you buy something for protection, use it. Don't leave it in your room. It doesn't do you any good in your room. Um, I'm curious though, what, what have you been doing to stay safe? Um, either as a solo woman traveler or as a solo guy traveler, you know? Guys are not exactly um, exempt from this. They can totally get robbed too. <laughs> They're just not as likely of targets, I suppose. But let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you want to hear about next week. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So this is it. Remember, you are truly amazing. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, so since it seems I might be leaving the resort soon, um, I thought that I should do something that I've been meaning to do and give you guys a tour. I'm actually working um, on making a promo video for the resort, and this is Sunrise Resort on Hadron Beach in Copenhagen. And so let's just let's just see what it has to offer. <laughs>